So today's uh, film noir was 1953's Vicky. Was it working? There we go. You see that? There you go. Uh, which I rented from Videodrome. And uh, it is an adaptation of Steve Fisher's I Wake Up Screaming. Now, uh, I Wake Up Screaming has an interesting sort of history, both in film and in book form. Um, obviously, there was a 1941 film called I Wake Up Screaming as well, um, starring Ben Crable. But Steve Fisher himself wrote multiple versions of I Wake Up Screaming, which were released um, in different print editions. And there's a version that was adapted into I Wake Up Screaming 1941, which he wrote that screenplay. Then he then it was adapted into Vicky from 1953. And then there was another publication of I Wake Up Screaming in the late 50s that that um, was sort of inspired by, uh, um, oh my God, that trashy magazine, the Confidential magazine. And so um, what you had in the original pr printing of the book and what is readily available today are very different books and very different stories. And one is set sort of Broadway and one is set in the world of Hollywood. And it's all very strange. Um, so like look up the publication history of I Wake Up Screaming and you'll be like, my brain is exploding. Why don't you just write two different books? I don't know. Um, I've read the late edition of I Wake Up Screaming, and I remember being really confused because I had seen the film, and I was like, this isn't like the, what? And then I, and then I read about the publication history, and I was like, oh, okay. So Vicky, from 1953, has one of the most misogynistic ads I've ever seen, um, where it talks about choking people, and I was like, dude. So um, in this version... Uh, Vicky is played by Jean Peters. Her sister is played by Jean Crane. Uh, Vicky is a model who is found murdered at the beginning of the film. There are three, possibly four main suspects, three men who helped launch her career as a model. Press agent Steve Christopher, um, Hack, what was it, Hack, uh, Hack, Aunt, Hack, Actor, played by Alexander Darcy and um, columnist Larry Evans. Then there are other people. There her, are, is her sister Jean Crane. There is the detective trying to figure it out, played by Richard Boone. There is a really creepy um, night watchman guy, played by Aaron Spelling. Yes, the Aaron Spelling. Um, there's a lot of red herrings, a lot of plot twists whole bunch of things happening in this movie. Um, Jean Peters is great. This came out the same year as Niagara. So she's sort of a wholesome girl in Niagara and like a femme fatale to femme fatale you all in this one. Her sister, played by Jean Crane, also serves out some really great lines. She's a little less interesting of a character in the latter half of the film, but in the beginning of the film, she's very sassy and says things like, why don't you sit down? You'll ha have less, less to fall or when you'll There'll be less far to fall when you fall. There'll be less to, whatever. I'm not sassy. Um, she had good sassy lines is what I'm saying. And then it turns into her being this like mushy love thing that just ruins the whole steely character. And Vicky herself is just a smart businesswoman. And she gets really maligned in this film. And really, I was thinking while I was watching it that this should be called Men Are Gross, the movie. Because literally all the men are horrible and like, say they want they felt like they were jealous because she was their possession and all kinds of things shades of Laura except that in the book Laura it's really great and no one no one is I mean every all the men are demonized in the book you should read that that's by Vera Caspery um no one gets demonized in this film Aaron Spelling is too super creepy as the as the uh, guy in this um Richard Boone is like the creepiest detective also what else was I going to say? Ah, Steve Fisher. Oh, it was edited by Dorothy Spencer. So if you're interested in supporting films past and present that had women working behind the scenes, this is a film for you. Um, what else did Dorothy Spencer edit? Let's see what the internet says. Da, 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 da. Ooh, she did Stagecoach and My Darling Clementine and In Old Arizona. Holy crap. Wow, she edited a ton of movies. Okay. She's awesome. Wow, Valley of the Dolls. Cool. Anyways, Dorothy Spencer, high five on your editing career. Um, so anyways, if you like a movie with a lot of plots, a lot of plot twists and 
old-fashioned New York shots like um, cafeterias and fancy nightclubs and, you know, things like that. This would be a good one. It's definitely, um, you could do like a, a trio of like press editor movies and have, or not press, well, press editor, like, what am I trying to say? PR and uh, columnist type noirs with Laura, Vicky, and um, Sweet Smell of Success. Could be fun. Uh, I, speaking of Laura, there's a scene where they go and meet in a movie theater and the movie dialogue is straight from Laura, even though you don't see the movie. Um, it's from the interrogation scene between Dana Andrews and Jean Tierney. Both films were released right by Fox, so that was kind of a fun way for Fox to reuse its own film. Um, this was a fun one. It was, I wish the women got to be as sassy towards the latter half of the film as they were at the beginning. In the beginning, it was like, yes, these women are great. And by the end, they all got stuck with terrible men and are murdered. So <laughs> I guess that's all our fates. Um, this is Vicky from 1953. It's directed by Harry Horner. You can get it from, um, on DVD from Fox Film Noir. I recommend it. Um, I would watch I Wake Up Screaming first and then watch this one and do like a compare and contrast. I feel like that's probably the best way to watch these and then find the book and read that and uh, see if you can find the original print. I'm still looking for it because the reprint from the like 57 was strange. Um, November 4 today, day 4, November 8. Um, hope you're watching some good noirs.